Now the intro to this song and your main piano backing track are actually exactly the same, only the introduction is pitched down. You're going to play it way further down the keyboard. Uh, while I'm going to start up here, you should probably be starting your introduction here or maybe even lower. Actually I would start it here. So just play the introduction an octave lower. Play what I'm showing you right here for your main instrumental part an octave lower for the introduction. And make sure you play it slower too to give it that really, really dark feel that the song starts off with. At any rate, uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be starting with a series of chords in the right hand. And what you're going to be doing is bouncing back and forth between the top two notes and the lower note in each of those chords. This is just a way to simplify it so I don't have to be naming each note out as I'm going. I'll just name a chord and then I'll show you how it bounces back and forth. Uh, with that in mind, we're going to start here on a G flat minor second inversion, right? That's composed of D flat, G flat, and A. And using those three notes, what you're going to be doing is bouncing back and forth between these two, the G flat and the A, and the D flat down here. You're going to do the same thing with a D flat major in its root position, which is D flat, F, and A flat. From there, you're going to go to a D major, second inversion, A, D, F sharp. From there, you're going to go to a D flat, sus4, in its second inversion. That's A flat, D flat, and G flat. And then from there, you're going to stop playing chords, or you're going to want to stop thinking about it as chords, because you're only going to have two notes to bounce back and forth between. First one is going to be D flat, G flat, D flat, G flat. You play that, uh, you bounce back and forth four times. And then the D flat is going to switch to a B. That's all you got to know for the right hand. Once through, it should sound like this. Left hand is going to be really, really simple. You're going to start here on a D flat, E flat, B, A, A flat, G, and then the loop starts over again. Putting the two hands together, you should get something like this for your main instrumental part. That is your main riff for this song. And then you're going to hear a, a vocal part come in during the chorus, and at the very, very end of the song is when you can hear it most distinctly. There's actually three voices going for this thing. So it's a three-part harmony. I really like it. I think it's written really, really well. Uh, you're going to start here. I'm going to put two voices up in the right hand, and then add the lowest voice to the left hand, which I'll show you in a minute. So playing the two higher voices in the right hand, you're going to start here on a G flat and a D flat. The upper voice is going to move B, D flat. That's B and A flat together. The upper voice is going to move again. A, B. Now you're with A and D. From there you're going to go, uh, the upper voice is going to move again. D flat. You've got a B and an E flat together. That's a G flat and a D. So all together, <clears throat> your right hand part for the vocal harmony section that comes in during the chorus is going to go as follows. That's your harmony section from the chorus. Now you remember our left hand line from earlier, right? The one that goes D flat, E flat, B, A, D flat, G. 
what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the lowest out of those three voices that I mentioned from before. We're going to be adding the lowest of those three to our left hand. The lowest of the three voices is going to go as follows. A, A flat, B, A, A flat, G. And actually, with the exception of the first two notes, this actually works out with our left hand to the point where you're playing octaves for most of it. You're going to see you're going to start here, and then from there you're just going to walk it down. B, A, A flat, G. So once all the way through, your left hand is going to go. That's the left hand. Putting those two sections together that I just showed you, you should get something like this for your choral multiple harmony section. That's all I gotta know for The Coolest by Lupe Fiasco. Be on the lookout for Promise You'll Find Us, Thomas Aquinas, my brand new album coming out in 2013. D.Dot Respect recently said, every couple of years, an album comes along. An album to change the face of mankind. An album made of TNT and Cabbage Patch Kids. An album like Promise You'll Find Us, Thomas Aquinas.